Hello and welcome to the United Stand. This is your Manchester United Transfer News Daily where we talk about all the latest Manchester United transfer news and give it that real fan opinion. And we're going to start off with Christian Pulisic. For anybody who's been watching the United Stand for any period of time, you'll, be, you'll know I, I think he's a fantastic talent and it, and it ticks so many boxes to bring him to Manchester United. None more so the fact that he's a brilliant player, but also American. We've got a big, big fan base over there. Just think the positivity that could bring a, the first real superstar American in, in football as well. It would be great to have that with Manchester United having such a big fan base there. But what's the story with this? Well, you know, typically it has to involve Anthony Martial. It was in the, the, the mirror, I think, yesterday saying that Manchester United are hijacking Klopp's attempts to bring Pulisic to Liverpool by offering up Anthony Martial in return to Dortmund. Massive, massive concerns about this on three levels, really. One, if he goes to Liverpool, that would be an absolute sickener. But Klopp does have those connections there. Young, attacking talent, exactly what United should be going for. Two, I don't think Anthony Martial is going to go to Dortmund. I think he's far better than Dortmund. I think Martial goes to Spain or Italy. Uh, the German league, I can't see him going there. In Bayern Munich's shadow, Bayern Munich at a push, but not Dortmund. I can't see Martial doing a deal like that. And thirdly, I'm not even convinced... That, the, 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 that either Woodward's trying to pull the, the wool over Mourinho's eyes or Mourinho's made a mistake here and thinks we're talking about Perisic, not Pulisic, because Perisic is 29 and a winger and exactly what Mourinho wants. Pulisic isn't 20 till September and, and, and he's a kid who needs development. And we all know what Mourinho thinks about that. But in all seriousness... I wouldn't swap Martial for, 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 for Pulisic. I wouldn't. I think Martial's a better player. But if Martial was going to leave Manchester United and, we were, and nothing's going to stop that and Mourinho did want Pulisic, then it would be going some way to repairing the massive, massive damage that it's going to cause when Martial goes. But I, I, I can't see it happening. I don't think Mourinho's going to sign kids. I really don't. I think he wants the finished article. I think that's the whole point. He's lost patience with people like Martial because he hasn't got time to develop them, because he feels he needs to get results now, which maybe he's right. So I can't see Pulisic coming to United, another player who's going to need developing when he wants players in right now. But what a fantastic talent he is. And I would be gutted, gutted, gutted if he did end up going to Liverpool. Talking of which, uh, remember we mentioned Justin Kluivert, uh, Ajax winger, Mourinho was on the pitch with him after the Europa League final, agent Mino Riola, Edwin van der Sar at Ajax saying they doesn't think they can keep hold of him, United have been heavily linked to him, well apparently he won't be coming to Manchester United, Mino Riola is his agent and he does have links to Italy and apparently AC Milan or Juventus are likely to be his destination, not Manchester United and again I would not be surprised by that because I do not think that Jose Mourinho wants or has the time to, develop, to be developing young wingers. He, he's not here. He's not here to do that. He never stays anywhere longer than three years. I think he can stay longer than uh, than three years at Manchester United. But I think he knows he's under massive pressure next season. He's got to win the title next season. Can he bring in Pulisic, Leon Bailey, Justin Kluivert, Clive, sorry, and and sort of say it's all right. Take your time. Get, take your time. He can't do that. He won't do it with Martial and Rashford, so why is he going to do it with anybody else? It, I just can't see it happening. As much as I would love to see United bringing in some fantastic youth talent. Talking about somebody who's not youth talent and fits right into the category of what Jose would want. 29 years of age, top of his game, finished article, Robert Lewandowski. Bayern Munich are going to let him go this summer and Manchester United are now being linked to him. Very, very good striker. Goals to game ratio, fantastic. I think he'd do very well in the Premier League. Um, and I do think he will leave Bayern Munich this summer. But I don't think he'll be coming to the Premier League. I think he will either... Well, I say that. I don't think he's going to be coming anywhere near Manchester. City won't want him. Don't think United will either. I think Real Madrid, maybe Chelsea, but not Manchester United. United are not going to sign a number nine of that quality. They're not going to sign a top five in the world number nine when they've got a top ten in the world number nine in Lukaku. And I do think Lukaku is in the top ten just of the number nines in the world. I don't think he's anywhere near the top five, but certainly I think he's in the top he's in the top ten. So why would we go and sign anybody better than Lukaku to bench somebody we, we spent 75 million on less than a year ago? We're not going to sign Lewandowski. Mourinho loves Lukaku. Lukaku's had a good season for Manchester United. He can build on that next year. We're not going to sign a number nine of the quality of Lewandowski because where would we play him? We've seen with Lukaku this season, even Rashford as the backup number nine is getting pittance. You know, he's not getting time. So we're not going to sign Lewandowski. And also, as good as Lewandowski is, 
I also feel 29 years of age, never played in the Premier League before. It's all right signing Sanchez at 29. It's all right signing Van Persie at 29 when they've proved themselves in the Premier League. But Lewandowski at 29 could be another Shevchenko if he came to the Premier League. So no, not for me. I, th- I think he might go Real Madrid where, you know, less less big games, stat pad against the lesser teams. I think that's my, maybe where Lewandowski will go if Benzema moves on. Can't see him coming to Manchester United. Hector Bellerin, right back, Arsenal, mentioned in relation to Manchester United numerous times over the season, spoken to, I think it was yesterday, and basically said, look, I've been living in London for a number of years, all my friends are in London, Um, who knows what's going to happen in the future, but right now I'm really happy. Is that conclusive I'm staying? He actually flirted with Barcelona and said, I always keep an eye out for them, really love Barcelona, I think if Barcelona went in for Bellerin, he'd go. Um, would he come to Manchester United? Well, Manchester United can take any player from Arsenal if they want to. Anybody who says they can't has been proved wrong numerous times. Will Manchester United go for Bellerin? Would he suit Manchester United? Stupid as it sounds, when I've played FIFA in the past, I have had Bellerin as a right back. Valencia is ageing, but Valencia has got another year at Manchester United. He's the captain of Manchester United, rightly or wrongly, and I do not see... Um, Manchester United moving for a right back of that quality to bench Valencia it, it, does, it doesn't make sense Ashley Young I think his place is in doubt I think he will be a squad player next season rightly so hopefully we bring in someone like Alexandro but I don't see Valencia moving to the bench next season so I don't see his moving for a right back next season so I don't see his getting Bellerin I think what we'll be looking at is maybe somebody who's happy to come in and be a reserve right back or hopefully we'll start using Fozu Menza and, and Mourinho can teach him how to defend because I think he's got all the attributes but I still think he's a little bit naive defensively so maybe Mourinho can start to work his magic but but we'll see I don't see Bellerin coming to Manchester United but never ever ever say never when it comes to Manchester United um, I want to touch on Fellaini a little bit not in that way I, want, I do want to mention Fellaini apparently AC Milan were interested in signing Fellaini they quite liked the idea of bringing him to a slower league where his height could be a real asset. And I think Fellaini in in the Italian league would do quite well. It's a lot slower than the Premier League. We know Fellaini's slow, but he's good in the air. A lot of ball, lot of, lot of time. Lot, the ball spends a lot of time in the air in Serie A. So I think Fellaini in Serie A could do quite well. The big stumbling block for, for uh, the Italian clubs and United fans who want him to go is they cannot compete wages-wise for what Fellaini wants. Fellaini is apparently being offered around £140,000 a week by Manchester United to stay. Serie A teams cannot get anywhere near that. So it may well be that Fellaini does want to move, does want a new challenge, but he's priced himself out of it. And I think that's maybe what's going on with Fellaini. He knows what's on the table with Manchester United and he's just waiting around to see what other options are there. And remember, he said last week, I'm not opposed to going to China. If he goes to China, he could probably earn 300 grand a week. So we'll have to wait and see. It's a funny situation with Fellaini because I, like many of you lot, would love to see him go simply because I don't like that style of footballer. But the, the hilarious thing is the joke's on us. The joke's on Manchester United because Mourinho's desperate for him to stay and we've got Fellaini holding Manchester United Football Club by the balls. And um, whether he decides to go or not is going to be down to Marin Fellaini, not to uh, not to anybody else, because Mourinho wants him to stay, and, and that's the situation. Um, we did mention the other day about Neymar. I just want to say that uh, there's some little bits of developments around Neymar and potentially going to... Uh, Real Madrid which is something that's been rumoured all season really it wouldn't surprise me and also there was there was something I saw yesterday about Usman Dembele going to Liverpool from Barcelona I mean he's 135 million pounds not worked out well for him but imagine if you went to Liverpool Liverpool have this annoying tendency of picking up players like Suarez and then when he goes you think they're going to be rubbish and then they get Coutinho and then when he goes you think they're going to be rubbish and then Salah turns into world class then when he goes somebody else and and Liverpool have this knack of this one player being brilliant they haven't got a team that can win the league but they always seem to pick up this one good player and I would be jealous I would be jealous if they got Dembele or Pulisic because they are young players that United should be going for but at the moment I don't think that's what we're about I think Mourinho is about finished article trying to win it trying to build a team very quickly that's ready for now not for two or three years' time. So I'd, I'd be very surprised if we went for any younger players this summer. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Loads for you to get comments in on there. What do you think about Pulisic? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think we could? Do you think Marino could sign a young player? Lewandowski, Bellerin, Fellaini, Neymar, and Dembele, if you want to talk about him. Get comments in below. We're reading your comments. They're giving us ideas for future shows. Remember to support Football Daily. 
every morning, 7am, Monday to Friday. Drop a like and I'll speak to you all at lunchtime, 1pm, West Ham Preview. Speak to you all soon.